Hello. Hello, hello, and welcome to day number one of the 12 Days Empowerment Journey, experience, whatever it is. Welcome. And if you're watching the replay, let me know you watched the replay. Say hello below, whatever you want to say. Let me know where you're from. Let me know how you found out about me. Is this your first time catching me, watching me live, or did you just hear about me? Hello to those who joining on. I'm just going to um, let the Facebook group know I'm on live now. I'm hearing a couple people didn't get the email. Hi, Kimberly. So nice to have you here. Um, you know, a few people say they didn't get the emails, and this is always a tricky thing because what I want to say about the emails. Hi, Jen. So good to have you guys here. What I want to say about the emails is if you don't get them, it's could be your email provider like Hotmail and Gmail. They really filter out what they consider spam. And because the emails come from an automated email system of mine, and also they're attached to my website, they see them as like, oh, this person's trying to sell something. This is really spammy. And so they may, I don't know what they do. I've literally had some people who just don't get my emails at all. But a lot of the emails from my coaches end up in my junk mail. So I want you guys to really check. And if you're catching this, video and you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, what 12 day empowerment series. And if you um, want to get the links for the live video, so you know when I'm coming on live and I'm also going to be sending out um, the journaling and stuff. If you want those, make sure you're signed up. If you're not sure how to sign up, comment below, let me know, tag me and I will give you the link. Okay. And if you're not receiving the emails and you already signed up, please also comment below. Let me know or send me a message through messenger. And I will check on uh, your sign up because I can tell if the emails were sent to you and I can even see if you've opened them. So I can do that. Hello, hello to those who are popping on. When you come on, make sure you say hello. Okay, let me tell people I am on live. Sometimes you may not be able to see me right away. Hi, Stephanie. Because uh, you just got to refresh and get in and out of the group sometimes. It's pretty crazy. Facebook makes it for some reason difficult when I get on, well, when people get on live, right? Live now, refresh if you don't see me. Oh, now I see that no one's watching. Oh, who knows? Now it's not showing me anybody watching. But I know you guys are, so that's what's important. And I don't see my video, so let me just check it out. <laughs> Okay, there we go. If this video drops off, if for some reason it just stops, I will come back on. So if you don't see me and this video just stops, there will be a part two. So just wait, refresh, and look for a part two. Okay. All right, let's get going. Now, first of all, I pulled a card from my from this deck. Yeah, I know it's backwards. It's called uh, the Seven Energies Oracle Deck. And we're going to read what it said. The card that I pulled for you guys is this one. Just It's beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. This one is called Opening to Discover. Opening to Discover. Opening to Discovery. That's what it's called. 34. So I just want to read what this is. This is your message for today. The small bits of data you collect from the world to form ideas, the transfer of vital information via the universe always speaking to you, the need to integrate information, huh? <laughs> and discerning about what you expose yourself to. So important, right? We tune in to information from our outer environment, then assign meaning to it with e within our psyches. Every day, however, the amount of data we sort through exceeds what we're capable of processing. So true, especially since the advent of the internet. We have been bombarded with more and more, and we could ever hope to absorb. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of what we expose ourselves to. Huge message, right? Consistent exposure to unhealthy messages invites us to, into a cynical, fear-based worldview. On the other hand, conscious exposure to information supporting our well-being shifts us toward growth and expansion. And you are here, so you are choosing growth and expansion and to learn something new that's going to... Um, Improve your life, which is so great. Cho uh, the choice, though, is not always obviously, obviously ours. 
which is why we must be discerning on our daily basis. The universe is always engaging us. We are a part of it, after all, through synchronistic omens and other signs that point toward our best path. Our intuition helps us tune in and see our environment like an oracle. However, this new information doesn't always make sense right away. Today, to be open to receiving important information that may come from an unusual source, the universe wants to help you. By recognizing the way this aid will arrive depends on your willingness to shut out superfluous, superfluous noise. Hi, Jean. Welcome, ladies who are joining. I'm just reading. I pulled you guys a card, so I'm just reading that. Maybe you need to take a break from social break from social media, gossip, or the news. It's always a good idea to take a break from the news. <clears throat> Don't let yourself get distracted. Listen without attachment and see what arises in your life. Expect a message from the universe and you shall have it. Well, that was good. My notes. Got to grab my notes. <clears throat> okay, so on this 12-day, there's going to be six videos. And... The, the power, we're talking about empowerment and personal power, right? And um, I really want you guys to understand that all of the things that you, that you deal with in life, right? Like whether it's sabotage, resistance, um, dealing with other people that's really hard, challenging situations in your life, circumstances, your emotions, anxiety, stress, all of those things is tied to you, the inner you, right? And how you handle and deal with things, how your brain is, ends up hardwired, all of the, hi Elizabeth. And um, so I want you to think it like I had that journal prompt today. Today there's a journal prompt for you. So if you haven't seen it, I will be sending it in an email. And also it is in the Facebook group, okay? I'm going to pin it right now as announcement. So I'm putting it as under announcements in the Facebook group. The journal prompt was, what area of your life do you feel you have the least power over? And then other questions. I put, why do you feel powerless in this area? Have you tried to make changes in it? What do you think, believe you struggle? Why, why do you think or believe you struggle with this? Okay, so that's what I want you guys to focus on. I want you to answer those journal questions and then I'm tomorrow you are going to work on some statements that are going to help you turn around some of those things, feeling the powerlessness, right? So today we are talking about the power of choice. So we're building on your personal power, your empowerment, and you're going to learn six powers that I, I think about when I think about empowerment. Power of choice power of identity, power of boundaries, power of your energy, trust, knowing your soul and having faith that goes under kind of like soul power and then the power of possibilities. So we're going to deal with six powers that are all rolled up, I call into personal power or personal empowerment that will help you deal with absolutely any area of your life, okay? So that's what you guys are going to be learning over this series. So I want you to think about what areas of your life do you feel that you don't have a lot of power? If you want to put it below, write it below. It's okay if you don't, but I would love for you to write it in a journal or get a piece of paper out, right? Um, you were born, and I want you to remember, you were born powerful. Every single soul that was born was born powerful. You have so much power. You are a soul being in this body. You are not your body. You are not your personality. You are a soul. And your soul is limitless, right? Your soul is God source energy, right? You are limitless. So I want you to connect to who you truly, truly are. Think about it. You are the soul, a soul. You have come into this body, right? You have come into this body. So you are part of source energy or God, whatever you believe, right? So you are part of that amazing power. You have so much power. It's just we are conditioned, right? Everybody's raised differently. So there's going to be a lot of, you know, we're going to all end up different. And we do. 
So you're born powerful. You are a soul. You are very powerful. It's all about remembering who you are. When things happen in your life where they seem so crazy and out of control and like you don't have power or you're losing power, it's okay. This is what life is. Life is for us are the challenges are things we get to work through and learn from. They are our own personal journey through life. Each person has their own personal journey, right? And you get to work through how you are going to manage your own personal power, which journey, which is your life. You, the soul of you, you have the power over everything in your life, right? Because you get to choose how you feel about it, think about it, live with it, um, what choices you make with it, all of that. So that's what we're going to talk about. So there's circumstantial power and personal power. So let's say... Um, I used to live very involved with circumstances, right? Like if my circumstance wasn't good, it wasn't the way I wanted it, I would be mad, I would be upset, I wouldn't like it, I wouldn't like my life, it would feel like this is stupid, I don't want to be like this. Money, love, stress, eating. Oh, okay, that's great ones that you feel a little less powerful over. Perfect, thank you for that. Yeah, there's, there's everybody has something different in their life, right? Some people are super good at healthy eating like me. Other people are really good at that. Other people are amazing at making money and always coming up with creative ideas, right? So we all have something different. We're all very powerful. But the circumstances in your life are, do not get to have power over you, but yet we give them power over us because we don't realize our own personal power. We don't realize and understand and truly get that we have a lot of power that we get to choose and create our life right so today is power of choice so if you're gonna think about circumstances remember you're the one who says yes or no to those things or you're the one who gets to learn how know how you're going to react to those circumstances so don't let the circumstances have power over you it is you that can have power over that, okay? And intentions, so power of choice and intention. Your intention is kind of really linked. When you know that you have a choice, that you get to choose, right? So I can choose how I think. I can choose how I feel. I can choose what I believe. I can choose my habits. And I can choose my actions, that's very powerful. You get to choose all of those things. You get to choose your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, your habits, and your actions. Doesn't that just handle everything, right? That's everything, if you think about it. So when you are believing that you don't have a choice, you feel powerless. You're giving your power to a certain circumstance. Well, this is happening to me, so there's no way I can. So who feels powerless over a certain situation or circumstance or person in your life? Right? Very, very common. You are choosing to believe that you have lost your power. You don't have power with them. You're giving them your power. You don't have to. Yes, we get to choose. So good, Jen. We get to choose. I can choose. I'm in a job situation. I don't like my boss, so therefore I feel like my job sucks. But I need my job because I need money, because I got to pay my rent, <coughs> because, you know, all of this, right? Because I have to, I'm a single mom, whatever, right? All of those things. We can feel like I have no choice over this situation. There is no way... I have to have this job, therefore I have to put up with this boss, therefore I have to work all these long hours, therefore I don't get a chance to spend time with my family, right? We blame all this outward stuff on the reason why our life is the way it is. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, because right there you have given all your power away. So I want you to think about, wow, okay, for one, I made a personal choice to take this job. I made a choice to continue every day and put up with my boss. 
if I'm not looking for another job or doing thinking about how I can make more money on the side, right? That's a choice. I have a choice to start looking for another job. I have a choice to maybe look for a part-time job or something I can do at home that I'm really passionate about that can bring in more money, right? I have a choice that I can, hmm, maybe I can, is there a way that I can not let my boss upset me, right? When you have expectations on how someone should act, treat you, be, talk, all those things, and they don't meet your expectations, you're going to be frustrated, you're going to hate it, you're not going to like them. Can you approach that boss that you're not happy with and be like, not approach them, but you know what I mean? <laughs> be like, well, I'm choosing, if I'm choosing to stay at this job, because it's a choice, I'm going to choose to stay at this job. I don't like my boss. So I'm. if I am choosing, right, this is how you talk to yourself. If I'm choosing to stay at this job, then how am I going to react or think about my boss? Because it's a choice. Okay, well, I'm going to not let what my boss says bother me. I'm going to say it's their life. I'm not, a, you don't have to like the person. I don't really like being around this person. So I'm going to just do my job, be the best I can at my job, focus on my energy, my thoughts on myself doing the work in my job, right? So we always have a choice how you can begin to do things when there's a situation in your life that seems like it's controlling you or taking over or preventing you from doing something. <laughs> We always have a choice. We can choose how we think about it, how we feel about it, because you're choosing your feelings from your thoughts. Your thoughts create your feelings. You can go, you can start sending, sending, um, starting your day with an intention. I'm going to job my job today before I even go. I'm going to choose to smile and send love to my boss, no matter what my boss says or does. I'm really going to. I'm going to choose to send them love. I'm going to choose to put up a shield in front of me. When they talk or say something that bothers me, I'm going to imagine that their words hit my shield and bounce off it. So that's energetically protecting yourself from their energy. You have a choice to either bring in, suck in their energy, or let it rebound off of you, right? I had to leave my last job. The job I have now just appeared at the right time. Yes, and it just appeared at the right time because the universe always does things for us. The universe is always, and the source is always there to support us. We need to take the action, show that we trust the universe, God's source, and it will be there to support us. When you say, I have to stay in this job, there's nothing I can do, this person is irritating. This person, I can't handle this person. This person makes me mad. This person makes me stressed. This job makes me tired, right? You are giving all your power away. You are blaming other people. And you that is not personal empowerment. And then your soul is crying out. Why are you doing this to yourself, right? Yes, that is so fantastic, Elizabeth. We, I did too. <clears throat> I made a choice years ago. And it's not the easiest road, right? Yes, you can detach, right? So what you give focus to grows. What you focus on expands. If you focus on the hardship with your boss, the frustration you have with your boss, that is going to grow. Right? Every day, especially when you have a job like this, it's like every day I get to practice my personal power. So also you can choose to look at it differently. While I'm at this job that I don't like, but I'm choosing to make be open to possibilities of something new coming along for me, that means your thoughts are taking action. So you're taking action to start to know, believe, ask that something better is going to come to you. That's when you start to take your personal power. You can still be at that job, but you can begin to take your personal power back and begin to be empowered by 
asking God's source universe for help to find you a new job, asking friends, starting to look for a new one, starting to imagine a new job coming to you, having faith, trust, and belief that the universe always works for you, right? So these are all actions too. You can choose your actions. And sometimes your actions are thoughts, belief, work, writing out statements, writing out what you desire, things like that. Those are actions too. So powerful. How can you practice? Just like I was talking about, you practice every day. Okay, I'm at a job I don't like. I'm going to practice taking control of my power and my, my feelings, how I think about this person or this job. So that's daily practice, getting up and practicing daily to have control over your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, and your beliefs. And your actions, right? Right? When you're about to choose, sabotage yourself with crappy food, you can say, hold it. Whoa. That would be the old me. The old me would grab that food because I'm frustrated, because I feel like crying, and because I'm mad. But I now am going to choose something different for myself. Right? I'm going right now going to choose something different for myself. That is you beginning to take back your personal power. I guess I'm not there, but I'm thinking about going back. Going back to what, Stephanie? Ah, never last because you don't continue. <laughs> It just doesn't last because you don't continue. That's all, Stephanie. You just never give up, right? It's like never giving up. It's how you live consciously. So I'm choosing to live consciously, right? I'm choosing to live consciously. I'm choosing to make these changes. Also, you can choose to surround yourself with people who are working on this too. Work outside the home. Yes. Our, our, our little children inside will run the show. And we're going to talk about living on autopilot. And that's kind of what it's all about. Oh, healthy eating. Right. Well, you're choosing. Yeah. And you never stick. It's not, remember, it's not necessarily sticking with it. Because I have days that I don't eat that healthy. I have days that I eat healthy. It's that you're thinking if you don't eat healthy, you're not good in a certain way. It's just I had a day that I didn't eat healthy. That's all. End of story. Did I eat out of emotional frustration? Then that's what to look into. Why did I feel I have no power over that area? So you see what I mean? Emotional eating and stress eating is completely linked to this personal power. So if you work on your personal power, your power of choice, your empowerment, it will for sure help your stress eating and emotional eating. Absolutely 100%. Most of the time you stress eat and emotional eat when you believe you have no choice when you believe you have no power, when you feel hopeless, when you feel powerless. So when you work on your personal power, you will stop that stuff. It'll greatly decrease. And also you will think about it differently. Oh, I ate a pizza last night. Yeah, I ate a pizza last night. Now, did I want to eat that pizza? Was I out with friends? Was it fantastic? Yes, that's strong personal power, right? Or did you eat it because you were trying to avoid difficult emotions? Right? That's okay too. It's just like, okay, I was trying to avoid difficult emotions, so I ate that pizza. What emotions were I trying was I trying to avoid? What's really going on here, Stephanie? Let's say, right? I ate a hot that's okay if you had a those are great. It's okay to have one of those. If you have three in a day and then you have three the next day and then you have three the next day, that's a problem. <laughs> Absolutely. So you can set intentions for your day, right? Today, I'm choosing two. Today, I'm choosing two. And that's telling you that, okay, you're being conscious. You're starting your day with conscious awareness. I'm choosing to practice this empowerment, right? It doesn't mean it's going to stay with you. It means that when you get to the office or where you get like an hour or two down the road, you're like, oh, how am I being right now? So it means conscious, being conscious. How am I feeling? How am I acting? Am I stressing out too much? So you want to catch yourself during the day. You want to be conscious when you do different things throughout the day, how you're doing them. What choices are you making, right? So when you're stressed, when a person's kind of stressed or stays in a stress state, 
There's a lot to it because it can be high. It's addictive chemicals, actually. It's a thought you're thinking about a situation. So when you're frustrated or when you're stressed about something, what thoughts are you thinking about it? And can you begin to think differently about it? Or can you almost neutralize it? Why am I so worried about this situation? Because I believe, right? So you're taking your mind and you're forwarding it because I believe this is either, this situation is either stopping me from doing something. This situation is either making me do something I don't want to do, making me act a way I don't want to act, then there. Oh, those are all things. Those are all me. So that means I'm feeling certain ways. I'm acting a certain way. And I'm doing certain things. So I guess it really does come back to me. Right? So it's about me. Now, I, how do I choose to feel about this situation? Situation is frustrating. Makes me mad. I hate it. It's stupid. That could be very true. You feel, though, that's what you feel. That's how you think about it. But then again, it's like, well, is that helping the situation? No. You're choosing to think those and get caught up in those emotions because you're not doing anything about the situation. Or you feel you can't do anything about the situation. So if you truly can't do anything about that situation, then Worrying about it and being mad is not going to help. It's only going to make it worse. Right? So it's like all of this talking to yourself like, okay, wow. So I'm staying in this stressed, frustrated, mad state because you're staying there because I feel like I can't control anything. If I truly can't control the situation or the person, then I control myself. Then I guess I can choose to stay frustrated and mad or I can choose to let it go. You know? And when you replay it over and over and over and over again in your head, you're choosing to stay in that state and rethink about it over and over again. That's your choice. Yes, that's right. So true, Elizabeth, right? You know yourself, right? If I don't do this, I know that I usually do that. So you have a choice. Then I'm going to do this. It's like, exactly, for people who emotionally eat or stress eat. They use it as an excuse, like, well, I'm just the type of person who eats emotionally or stressed. Like, they can't help it. Like, they have no power over that situation. You're giving your power away. You do have power, you just don't want to face it, right? So if you're willing to take your power back, to get over it, to start behaving and being different, if that's what you're choosing, then it's like, so when I get stressed, what's really going on? Emotions. I'm feeling a certain way. I don't like the way I'm feeling. I don't want to feel that. The only way I know how to stop feeling that way is to eat something. Do I want to choose to continue that behavior? So again, you bring it back to you. Do I choose to want to continue that behavior? Yes or no. Right? So that helps with the conscious awareness. And every time you're faced with that situation, it's brought back to you. To you. Right? For you to make a choice, that's powerful. The only time you have that powerful choice is in the moment. So if you're scared about something in the future, oh my, like a lot of people worry or they're scared to make a change because it's like, what if it's going to be worse? What if, um, what if I make a change and, oh my God, what if this happens? And you get all caught up in that and you stress yourself up out and you don't make changes or you make changes but you're freaking out while you make changes and your whole body's vibrating and you just want to quit right know that your neurological system is going to do that that's natural it's totally okay you're not going to die totally okay right 
You can choose to continue with those changes and go, okay, wow, this is my nervous system. Not me. It's my nervous system. Scared of the change that I'm about to make. Totally understandable. My, my body only wants to keep me safe, so that's okay. I get to feel the fear. I get to feel this uncomfortable feeling. Am I going to still make the change? Yes, because I want to make that change. That change is very important to me. I'm going to believe that the change, well, it should be better. Don't make a change if it's not going to be better. I'm going to choose to make a change that's going to improve my life. Right? It's not like, what if when I make the change, this happens? Oh my God, but I don't know how I'm going to be when I make that change. Or I don't know how it's going to affect everybody else. That does nothing. Zero. That's not personal power at all. That's you believing I have no control of what's going to happen in my future. The moment you can control things is in the present, in the moment. So when you've made the change and you're in a moment and something comes up right in front of you, that's when you have the power to make a choice. You don't try and see the future and know everything is going to be perfect before you make a change. Because you will never have that answer. That's why people stay stuck. Jen, still reward myself with food. Yeah, that's still a pattern, right? Ah, there you go, Elizabeth. Yeah, exactly. Everybody handles stress differently. Totally. I don't overeat when I'm stressed either. Um. Yeah, so it's just like if you still reward yourself with food, then you just need to change how you reward yourself. That's all. And sometimes it can be with food. And that's okay. As long as it's not, I get to reward myself with food because this is the only time I'm giving myself this, this type of food. It doesn't come out of denial or lack, right? As long as it comes out of absolutely. When I celebrate, I celebrate good. I celebrate with a night out. I celebrate with a beautiful dinner with my friend. And that's, you know what I mean? Which is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. So the choice, the power, you have your power is in the present moment. You cannot read the future. You cannot know what the future is going to hold for you. But you can intend for the future to be wonderful intend for the future to be fantastic you can set intentions i'm choosing that my future is going to be amazing i'm choosing that when i make these changes in my life oh my god it's going to be so great because what you focus on expands remember hey right? what do you choose and each moment whatever happens to you you know when something comes up and it's like oh you got to deal with the problem that's when you deal with it. You don't know what problems are coming ahead of you. So worrying about what the possible problems are is only like attracts like. You're calling it in to be. You don't want to call it in to be. So when you go to make changes that even though they may seem scary, you realize that your body is going to react in a physiological way to something that is uncomfortable, to something that feels scary, and you got to understand, oh, wow, my body is so scared. I want to run away. I want to throw up. I don't want to, oh, I'm so scared. But it's okay because this is normal. <sighs> I trust. And we're going to talk about faith, trust, and belief too. I trust myself that I can handle anything that comes up because you can. If you guys are all here and you're all in your 50s, you can handle anything that comes up. <laughs> right? Hey, Pamela. Yep, absolutely. And that's also because you're scared that it might end up worse. So if you continue to affirm and intend that whatever's ahead of you is great. It's better. It's so amazing. It's just we're used to. We're used to believing that uncertainty is scary. Right? And this is biological from when we're hunters and gatherers and, and running from wild animals. Because we were so uncertain about our future back then. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years ago, right? 
We're not that type of way anymore. We're not that type of people. We have so many resources right now. We have so much help. We have so much support. You can handle anything. So why worry now? You, Like I said, I'll worry when the time comes. If that happens, I will find a way to deal with it. Because we always, always do. Right? We always do. So worrying about something is only a prayer to make it happen. So why not pray that everything's going to be perfect instead of, oh my God, what if? No, no, no. Oh my God, what if? <laughs> instead of a negative, what if? Right? I'm open to the possibility. Wow. It's totally possible that. It's totally possible that um, I'm going to have the best job ever. It's totally possible that I'm going to meet someone and they're going to let me know that there's this fantastic, like we're talking about job, position open. Oh my God, this is great. It's totally possible that I could have a completely different life in one year. In a good way. In a good way. Stop believing it's going to be bad. That's just the way life, society, conditioning, ha we've been thought to believe. Oh no. You can choose. Why not live expecting the best? instead of living expecting the worst right and that's what i wrote down here ah yes we do we do we do we're raised like that oh my god you know what and if you got to think about even 100 years ago they had a lot more to worry about right they had a lot more to worry about i mean you know our parents grandparents grew up in the depression through the world wars very scary stuff so we're carrying their conditioning, their responses, their worries, their fears. We are carrying them. We don't need them. So are you choosing to believe a bad outcome? Or are you choosing to believe an amazing future? Right? That makes a big difference how you feel physically and how your body reacts physically. Our thoughts create the emotions and feelings which create our state of being. Right? which creates the actions we take, which creates our life. I'm reading Pamela's comments. <laughs> I question myself, but then I have days that I am. I am doing the right thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. We never know for sure. Right? You know, we're, we're always going to go because we're emotional creatures. We're emotional people. We're affected by energies. We are all energies. We're affected by other people's energy. And we're going to talk about energy on one of the calls too, one of the videos. So know that by choosing your thoughts, you choose your emotions and feelings. You choose your state of being, which chooses your actions that creates your life. Now, what happens when you live on autopilot, which basically 99% of the people are? That's what happens while you get caught up in those stress responses. When your life, you get the same things happening over and over again in your life. When you feel like you have no control. When you feel like everything's happening. Oh my God, all this stuff happens to me. One bad thing after another. Nothing's working out for me. On and on and on. It is, and this can be a lot to do with the way we're raised. Past ways of thinking. Past traumas from our life. And traumas and experiences. Create our thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and actions. Right? So when we are not fully conscious in the moment, going, oh, right, here I am. I'm about to eat this. What am I going to choose? How am I feeling? That's being conscious, right? When we're living on autopilot, when we're just surviving, when we're not focusing on who we are, how, what we're believing, when we don't believe we're powerful, all of that, our past ways of thinking based on past traumas and experiences repeat themselves over and over again. So our brain gets hardwired by things that we've thought over and over again, believed over and over again, said over and over again. That's hardwired. So why do you keep acting the same way? It's because you've done it for so many years. Your brain is hardwired. It's like this happens, then you do this, then you feel this, then you do this, then you do, and it happens in a split second. And you'd have no recollection of the chain of events and all of that. It just happens automatically. That is because your brain is hardwired into that direction 
and it's going to do all those things. So when you start to become have more awareness and become more conscious and start, whoa, oh, I'm going into this pattern again. I'm experiencing these emotions. I'm going to do this sabotage or whatever that I've done over and over again in the past. Okay, do I choose to keep this going forever and ever and ever? Or do I choose now to break the pattern and start something new? You don't have to have all the answers. You don't need to know how to do, change everything at once. It's just what can I do in this moment? Remember, your power of choice is only really powerful in the moment, right? Right now, when, when you're faced with something is when you get to make another change, right? Right now, this is happening, so right now I'm choosing. Right? And setting intentions is a way that we can also say, I I have this meeting, let's say I have a meeting coming up, or you're meeting with somebody who, to have a really difficult conversation, and you're like, okay, whew, I have this coming up. This is going to be difficult. We're thinking in our head, right? Oh my God, I'm regret. I'm so dreading this. This is going to be terrible. What if they say this? What if they do this? Oh my God, this is so scary. What if this happens to me? Right? I used to be like that. So then what you do is you stop and you go, okay, it hasn't happened yet. I know time, everything happens at once. You know, what I mean? It hasn't happened yet. How do I choose that to go? How do I choose for that encounter to go with that person? I put my hand on my heart to connect to myself, right? To my heart, not my head. I choose. I'm going to send that person love right now, all day until I see them. I'm just going to send them energy of love. Even though you don't like them, it's because you want things to go well. I'm going to choose to send them love and I'm going to choose to listen, really listen to them and respect their feelings, respect what they say. And I'm going to say, and speak my truth from a place of love. From a place of love. I'm going to talk to them from a loving place. And understanding that they are a soul on their own journey. They have their own path. Their own journey. They may not have the awareness I do. So they may even yell at me. But I get to choose how I respond to that. It is their responsibility for themselves. I don't have to change them. I don't have to make them say anything or do anything. They're going to do what they're going to do. I'm not responsible for them. I'm only responsible for myself. So I choose to have our encounter today go really good. Right? That's what I mean. You can choose that. Then your energy as you go into that situation is going to be so different. Yeah, respond exactly. Then what it would have been if you would be freaking out about it. It's like an animal. You know when you're fearful around an animal, they can sense it. But when you're relaxed and when you're calm and when you're loving, they become that too. And it makes a huge difference with people. You can absolutely affect how someone else treats you by how the energy you're coming from. Okay. Do you guys have any questions or comments? Thank you so much for commenting as we're going through these videos. That's what they're here for. The best thing you can do is participate in the videos, right? I want you guys really to think about this. What are your intentions throughout these 12 days? How would you like it to go? Like, what are you hoping to come out of this with? And what do you really believe personal power and empowerment is? Um... So there was the journal prompt for today. So I want you guys, I pinned it to the announcements in this group. Okay. Now I'm just going to read what the definition of empowerment is. The process of becoming stronger and more confident, especially in controlling one's life and claiming one's rights. That's the definition of empowerment. So that's what we're working on, right? Your personal power, being an empowered person, 
And another thing I just want to say, because sometimes, especially as women, when people say she's a powerful woman, sometimes we think she's a bitch, she's harsh, she's not emotional, she's going to be um, a hard ass, all of those things. When sometimes when people think of a powerful woman, they put a lot of negative connotations to it. We need to end that. We need to end that. Being a powerful woman is not negative. You can be a loving, and all women usually are loving and caring anyways. It's only when they don't have control over their personal power and empowerment that when they get put into a place of power, they are just reacting from their little child or from their hurt, right? So you are who you are and you are who you choose to be as in I'm choosing Wow, I'm going to look at myself. How am I responding? What's really running the show, right? My little child or this person who is coming from a loving place. And we're going to talk about boundaries throughout these videos too. Because you can set beautiful, loving boundaries with people. And that's what's really important too. It doesn't have to be, oh my God, I have to say no to everybody and they're going to be mad at me. <laughs> that's why people avoid setting boundaries. It's just because you're not coming from the right state, right? So your thoughts, your feelings and emotions make your state of being, all of those things you can choose, which you're from your state of being, you take different actions and you make choices and all of those create your life. So you are the one creating your life, no matter what it feels like. It's all you. That is a fantastic thing because that means you have so much power. And empowerment over your whole life in every aspect even when it doesn't feel like it hello those who are dropped on make sure to say hello and watch from the beginning because you will definitely want to watch from the beginning and I really suggest watching this or listening with a notepad and taking some notes and listening a couple times because you will hear things that you missed the first time because your brain can only take in so much information at once right but know that you are taking in what you are supposed to. So it may seem overwhelming. There's going to be six videos that have a lot of information in them. It may seem overwhelming, but it's okay. Know and have faith and trust that you will take in what you need to know, what you need to hear in that moment, right? Whatever. So what you took in compared to some, what someone else took today, like really got today, it's maybe different. Because you are all different, right? So look for day one journaling prompt under announcements. Read or whatever this video or just write notes right now. What hit home? What made sense? What were your aha moments? Like just take a few minutes to jot things down and go, wow, yes. Oh my God, I realize this about myself or I'm going to start doing this or I'm going to start thinking like this now. Tomorrow, there's no video, but you're going to get some statements and talk about how now to take these areas of your life that you feel powerless. And you're going to write out statements about making choices. I now choose to. You're going to write, be writing out statements. I choose statements, right? Like, so if there's an area where you're not happy with your job, right? There's many ways you can do this. You can choose to think differently about your job. You can choose to um, have different energy when you go into your job, as in, I'm going to go in each day with love, be happy because I'm in charge of how I feel. My job doesn't cause how I feel. Um, so you can make all these statements, right? I'm now choosing to. I'm going to choose to. I choose to. I choose to go in each day with a positive mindset. I choose to go for a walk at lunch and and be in the energy of the beautiful outdoors and nature. I choose to do some deep breathing four times a day. I choose to give three people a compliment at work, right? Something like that that can improve your work day if that's a problem of yours. If there's an area of your life where you feel like with eating or stress eating, you can begin to make statements around that, right? I choose that when I feel stress, the aware I'm going to choose myself to eat something healthier or I'm going to choose a different way to handle my stress. I'm going to choose to go on YouTube and find, you know, things I can do to handle my stress. 
because you have the choice over all of these difficult situations in your life or all areas of your life, even if you feel powerless in something. You now can choose to make a change, right? So tomorrow <clears throat> is your journaling and stuff is all about creating statements to help work through those areas of your life that you feel you have no power or less power than you want. Okay, so today's one journaling was about what areas of your life or area of your life do you feel you don't have a lot of power? Um, so that's what you're going to be <clears throat> answer, kind of look at right now. Um, it's under announcements. Um, how do you feel? Why do you feel powerless in that area? Have you tried to make a change in it? Why do you think or believe you struggle with this? Right, so you want to kind of look at those things and then... Tomorrow morning, I'm going to send an email. You want to start writing out some I choose students. I now choose to or I choose to. Because start to regain your power with the power of choice. Start to gain empowerment. All right. It's been amazing. You guys are so good. Good for you guys for being here. <clears throat> if you have any questions or comments, make sure to write them below. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. So happy. Uh, watch from the beginning if you haven't watched. I will be um, on live on Wednesday. So our next live video. So my notes. Are you getting the emails? If you're not, let me know below and I will check in on that. Because I did send the email with all the live times. I will put uh, when I'm going live on Wednesday in the group again. Have an absolutely amazing day, night, wherever you are. Take a few notes right now. What spoke to you? What hit you? For you, what do you need to know? What, what did you gain, right? Well, what awareness did you gain? Okay, thank you so much for being here. You are amazing and you are so powerful. Bye-bye.